Welcome to FIFA 19 for match day 21 of the Premier League and Manchester City want revenge for that shameful 4-0 defeat they suffered at Anfield Road against Liverpool. But the match turns into a battle that is stuck in midfield. The first chance is for Liverpool, miss. And when Raheem Sterling finally sees some space to launch Leroy Sané into, the German's goal is disallowed for offside inconclusive. 19 minutes played when former Liverpool forward Raheem Sterling finds some space for himself and he finishes it with a left-footed strike and takes his joy to the Liverpool fans who cannot believe it. Liverpool are finally back on top of the table and 110 minutes later they're virtually joined by City again. Liverpool reaction Sadio Mane to Henderson stopped. Nothing else happens until the City substitutions when Diaz and Bernardo Silva come onto the pitch. And this challenge from Silva demonstrates the purpose of that. Do what you can to save the lead. 80 minutes played when Mo Salah finally sees the ball. And a great save from Ederson again. Also Diaz is determined to keep the lead. Salah is down. So Sturridge is searching for a teammate. 1-2 with Jordan Henderson and Ederson saves it again. Diaz is booked. We're nearing the end of the game already. And Liverpool put all their eggs in one basket for a corner kick. Nabi Keita has a go when he gets the ball and it's one all. City were unable to create more chances after Sterling's goal. Trying to keep the Reds away from Ederson. But this move causes the gap between both teams to remain three points. Man City have one more shot after the equalizer with a header from Bernardo Silva but there's no power in his header. City failed to beat Liverpool this season, one all at the Etihad Stadium. Spurs gathered 23 points in 11 away games and only got 13 points from their own home fixture so Cardiff City looked like a doable opponent. Harry Kane misses the first two chances against a Cardiff side that is full of reserve players. Nathaniel Mendes Lang sets up Kenneth Zohor, but Hugo Lloris denies him. Mendes Lang to Peltier, Peltier to Rawls, Rawls to Lee Tomlin, and it's 1 0 for the Bluebirds. Great combination play to set up Lee Tomlin and Cardiff see an opportunity to get another unexpected victory after their win at Leicester City last week. Great work. Spurs go into full attack, Eriksen to Trippier, but Harry Kane misses again. After an hour, Sissoko goes past his defender, Wanyama with a poor shot. Cardiff can break out one more time, but Zohor misses again. Nine minutes left when Kadeem Harris puts Lloris to the test again and the final chance is for Spurs. Eriksen to Serge Aurier but he's unsuccessful as well. Neil Etheridge saves three points for Cardiff. Also Chelsea are forced to play with a large number of backup players such as Gary Cahill and Eden Ampadu but Southampton have the best chances before the break. Redmond is denied by Robert Green and also Charlie Austin comes close to opening the score but he heads it wide. Loftus-Cheek in stoppage time with a cross but a poor shot from Victor Moses. The second half starts with a free kick variant for Southampton. Mario Lamina with the shot saved by Robert Green. The Saints smell blood and want revenge for that 7-2 home defeat against Chelsea in the first round but luck is not on their side. Hudson Odoi to Loftus-Cheek who sees Alvaro Morata and the Spaniard gets his 10th goal of the season. Vestergaard gave him too much freedom and that was the death of him. Chelsea feel energized all of a sudden, even Willian who misses this header. So Southampton need efficiency if they want to take home a point. Shane Long, but he finds Green on his way. Chelsea even apply the finishing touch in stoppage time because William gets another chance and this time it's a success. A bad performance, but a 2-0 win. Time for the six match roundup then, starting off in Wolverhampton where Palace go behind after a corner kick. Raul Jimenez is the culprit. But Wolves have six backup players in the squad today, such as Saiz, 
who loses this duel with Surlo, who has just come onto the pitch, one all. Wilfred Zaha makes it 2-0 with his seventh goal of the season, unmarked, and Surlot even makes it 3-1. Wolves are slowly tumbling down the table. Man United are taking a stroll through Newcastle. Nice volley from Pogba after his initial shot was blocked. But that goal from Pogba is nothing compared to the sensational build-up that takes United into the 2-0. Alexis Sanchez finishes this beautiful combination play. Many backup players in Newcastle squad as well, such as Roberts, who misses the 2-1. And after a boring game for the home fans, United even make it 3-0 in stoppage time via Romelu Lukaku. 11th goal of the season for Big Rom and United are closing in on the top three. Everton and Leicester City meet at Goodison Park for a battle in the snow, but Leicester have been wobbling since defeating Man City. Umar Nias right before halftime, 1-0. Little danger in the second half and youngster Kieran Dowell makes it 2-0. He also scored in the 6-1 win against Watford. Everton 2, Leicester 0. Going into the relegation zone then with a Yorkshire derby between Huddersfield and Burnley. Right after kickoff, Mbenza with a cross to Diakabi and it's 1-0 for the Terriers who haven't won in ages. Ben Hamer replaces Jonas Lussel for the return round and also Diakabi makes a good impression. But it's the new goalkeeper who deserves the credit today. 1-0 and Huddersfield live to see another day. West Ham play absolutely dreadful at home against Brighton and Hove Albion who desperately need wins now that Cardiff have 21 points. Luke Wilshire causes a free kick and German Pascal Gross takes it. No chance for Adrian who plays in goal instead of Lukas Fabianski. West Ham gets zero chances in this game and Florin Andone doubles the score with his third goal in three matches. So it's a frustrating game for everyone and Yarmolenko has seen enough of it. A rough tackle and he's sent off. West Ham 0, Brighton 2. Watford conceded 48 goals in total already, 12 of them in two games against Arsenal and Everton and they only have 16 points but Andre Gray puts them in front away at Bournemouth. Right before the break Dini's header is blocked and Dukure gets the ball and it's 2-0 for the Hornets. Ball travels in via Boric's hand and the post. A very lucky goal indeed. Bournemouth depend on two youngsters in midfield but what a stunning goal scored by Taylor. A 2-1 defeat but a fantastic goal. And the final match takes us to the Emirates Stadium for a London derby. Arsenal against Fulham who scored five goals against Huddersfield last week. Alexander Mitrovic with the first shot off target. Arsenal play with a few youngsters such as Eddie and Kedia, born in May of 1999 but he misses his first double chance. Fulham are dangerous as well. Seri pulls it back for Neskis Gebano and the Frenchman opens the score. He used to play for Charleroi and Racing Genk in Belgium. Second half begins with another chance for Eddie and Kedia who has time and space off the post. El Nenny gets the ball and sets up Maitland Niles and it's one all. A fantastic moment for Ainsley Maitland Niles who suffered from a long injury up until now. And Arsenal keep on pushing after that. Eddie and Kedia to Lacazette who feels like a little magic is required off the post again. Bernd Leno stops Fulham from the 2-1 and Arsenal are done messing about. Iwobi to Eddie and Kedia saved again. But the entire match has been building up to a glorious ending for Eddie and Kedia. And with 15 minutes left on the clock he breaks the deadlock from number 49 to Arsenal's new prodigy. 2-1 for the Gunners who are now right behind Wolverhampton. And also the relegation battle has become more exciting. See you on the next one guys. Peace.